hello my beautiful Renee. How are you doing today? My name is Libra Empress and I am doing your free personal tarot reading for today. Alright. I am so thankful that you are not only part of our family but for the fact that you've been so patiently waiting for your personal tarot reading. I've been super busy so I decided that I was going to try once again to do tarot in the car. So hopefully I can do this. So thank you. <laughs> Now let's discuss the three piles. Remember we got your past, present, and possible future. Now remember when we get to the future, the future isn't set in stone. It can change anytime you so choose it, alright? Alright, I had to put you on pause for a minute. I apologize. We were bouncing all over the place. So your past energy is that you're very generous, alright? And what you were generous with had to do with... Are you ready? You're very generous with being patient in regards to your family. And you're dealing with a player. This is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces card. Could be someone that you were in a relationship with or it could be just a family member, okay? This is someone who's moody, um, romantic, adventurous. And if, in his story, if you give your heart to them, they'll skip out. Just on, the, on a whim change of how they feel. I don't like that energy. That's why he's the player card in my deck. Currently, you're having the energy to not only find balance, all right, Sagittarius energy, and begin an entrepreneurship and start a new journey. It's awesome. Possible future is that you are adapting. You're adapting to the fact that, I love this, you're adapting to your victory. You're adapting to new tasks and passions and getting, you know, rewards and celebrating, which is awesome. All right, now the fourth pile, which is all the energy between past, present, and future, is the two of cups. So you were able to sit down with someone that you previously severed ties from and talk to them about some issues. And you, this time you sat down with them as the emperor so you were keeping cool calm and collective and I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that you had grief in regards to a three of swords okay betrayal of some sort all right let's move on to the decks and see what Jane Austen's deck says of your story all right so you were being very perceptive in regards to waiting or maybe you were waiting while being perceptive and you know you were being very creative so yeah you're being creative because you want um, quantity quality so a lot of your waiting a lot of your waiting had to do with um, what you're creating from nothing and I think it's gonna be great because you're doing it as an empress reached Empress mode and Emperor. Hell yeah. So you're stepping into the, the full card, which is New Beginnings, which means that you have an extra pep in your step, and you will release all mental baggage, and you're using your intuition and preparing for... You're preparing your security. You're making an effort to work on your skills and complete, complete the tasks at hand, because you're going to be celebrating is awesome. You're going to celebrate your happiness and clarity. And you were, somewhere along the line, you were having a revelation in regards to betrayal. And it helped you transition. But you were awakening and being very cautious. Okay. Now, sometimes sharing was a challenge. For you because you kept giving and giving and giving in and you feel that working hard is going to release your destiny you don't think that the thing should be handed to you but as you're accomplishing a lot you're going to be rejecting any sort of person moving towards you okay anything that doesn't serve you so and i know that kind of sounds selfish but it's not because you're growing within that's dean um, you're going to be gaining hope and avoiding temptation because there is temptation. Devil card, right? Yeah, that's me. You're going to be contemplating whether you want to collaborate with someone. Mm -hmm. 
going to be very assertive towards, um, towards your emperor. You're going to do it in a positive sense. And while you're making choices or deciding on whether you're going to make choices, you're going introspect, right? And you're going to be doing a lot of moderated thinking. Now, someone that you love could be a Gemini. Um, it's being very charming with you. All right. Especially in regards to material wealth. Now, you are keeping your emotions under control, like in a mystery. People just want to know what's going on with you, and you're just keeping quiet, and you're keeping your balance, and having the courage. Hold on, let me put it on pause. All right, so you were discovering that um, not only will you want to be sharing your um, traditions, but you decided you're going to cut off all um, disappointments in regards to that, and Instead of letting anxiety hold you back, you're going to find stability and transform. All right. Let's see what the zombie deck has to say about what's going on with you. All right. So bottom of the deck is that you were competing and fighting with someone, right? Somewhere, this is anywhere between your past, present, and future. So you're fighting with someone, right? And you are ending the situation, especially in regards to this puppet master who is probably manipulating you with their money. That makes sense. They're... Huh. So you were able to um, have group effort in regards to a struggle that you were going through. And you were starting fresh, starting new, creating something from the ground up, something amazing. And um, you're finding hope, getting rescued and all. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Because you went, into, you went into hermit mode in order to pamper yourself. Now you were dealing with a party girl or a guy. It's an energy thing. And you were waiting on knowledge from them to find out if they were going to keep trying to take everything from you. Why? Right? It was a deep betrayal, deep-seated betrayal. Or it will be. Basically, my card... Um, what it means is that people keep taking and taking and taking from you. People keep taking and taking and taking from you. And um, they're not giving or filling your cup of love. <laughs> but you want to give your cup of love to someone. But you're also calling judgment and accepting help from a high five from the undead. Does that make sense? <laughs> now... You are gaining recognition and hard work for your skills, but you had to go through a lot of anxiety. A lot of anxiety, okay? And poverty. And you were juggling and trying to come at, at something, your project maybe, from a new approach. You decided the old methods weren't working, right? So you're making a decision to keep fighting and being persistent with what, what is going on. And then in regards... In regards to um, a decision that you're making, you are using love or you're going to be using love to decide whether or not to call judgment on this person. So say you could be like Queen of Swords and, and just like don't totally cut them down and be like, I don't care anymore, but deep down you do, right? But it also could mean something... <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, my kid kept trying to feed me a peanut. So... <laughs> Um, Whoa, ho, 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 ho. wow, so cool. Look at that over there. Anyway, um, you're, you're making a decision and it's calling for you to use a little bit of empathy in your heart in the decision making process. And you are going to be prospering and claiming your destiny. But you need to get out of your head. Okay? You get out of your head and know that it's going to be okay. Because someone's going to say some shit that's going to change your world. Right? And you're going to learn your lessons. And then you're going to enter into the Queen of Swords mode. Now, just because you're Empress in Emperor mode doesn't mean you can't step down from that. And then tell a bitch to back their shit down. Just saying. So you can step into any, any card you want. And it doesn't defer you from being deter you from being the empress slash emperor, okay? Because you've leveled up each of your um, energies, male and female. Now, you are dealing with
with someone who needs a lot of high, like, uh, someone youthful who needs some growth, right? And it could be a past person, but you're being very generous as the Empress and giving not only love to them, but anybody who who you deem family, friends, right? Or you have children, you're giving them your love, and you are making sacrifices daily, maybe numerous times daily, and you are being selfish with your heart and with your energy because you needed to step into the stubborn card of the King of Swords in order to keep going towards your wish fulfillment, right? Nine, nine of Cups. So if you add that nine with the one cup, you get ten of Cups, so wish fulfillment there. And you are moving forward, and you are having the courage to say goodbye to anything that dissatisfies you and claiming not only your balance and your wish fulfillment, but you know, your family, which is awesome. All right, let's move on to your favorite digits. All right, now I have my beautiful Renee. I have your 13 cards from each of my deck. All right, so I'm gonna do each card and then a clarifier card. Now, um, you've been contemplating a lot in regards to your intuition, all right? Mm -hmm. Paying attention to your intuition. And you have ma been making a big effort in regards to family. Now, you had a revelation, or you're going to, right, in regards to justice. So, be dealing possibly with court or with... Um, just if you're a Libra. Which I don't know if you're a Libra or not. But, I mean, it is the Libra card. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra. But you are working hard and fighting for what's yours. Okay? But you should know now that if you're going to compete, you should compete with only yourself. Well, Libra Empress, how the hell do I <laughs> compete with myself? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, I can't split myself in half and then compete with myself. I mean, God, that would be awesome right i didn't have a machine to do that should i go back in time borrow dot brown's of delorean i mean god what what the hell do you mean libra well i what i mean is this is that you write down your goals and then you complete them okay you knock them out of here anything you want to do fucking do it because i mean the sky's the limit you can do anything you put your mind to you just don't let anybody hold you back just keep competing with yourself right want to be a writer well download blurb.com you know you know and publish your own shit and then produce it you know sell it i do that um go to wattpad throw all your books on wattpad so that you can get people to view it go on youtube create a youtube channel i'm pretty sure you you should do that that'd be really cool actually i did that with my books right where i read all of them and then i put them online because it not only will help people who don't really want to read, but also people who love good stories but can't read, right? Like, like my mom, she's legally blind, has seizures, and my grandma has her eyesight's going bad. So, um, just being able to, uh, being able to hear those stories, you know. Now, um, you are, you're gonna be completing your wish fulfillment. But there's going to be a temptation, and it could be a um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but it's also calling, it's going to be like a new beginning, so I don't know. But you are dealing with your wish fulfillment, hope, right? It could be with an Aquarius, but they might have um, strings attached. Now you are going to be transitioning and um, obviously competing. Maybe you're transitioning to compete with yourself instead of with anybody else because ultimately there is no one quite in this world as unique and beautiful as you are. Now, you are trying to stay positive in regards to someone who is dissatisfied you. Okay? And it could be the fact that you are growing within and making movement as a boss lady. Yeah. Or you're dealing with a rough ass boss lady. But, you know, there is obviously going to be disappointment. So you are being selfish 
hoarding yourself away, not wanting to deal with the world, yet you're also being generous with your perspective and your observations. So you are paying attention and you're being very cautious in regards to a decision you have to make, right? Because you know that you have to either go left or right and no one can make that decision but you. All right, we're gonna do the broken heart spread. So, the card that represents the central issue of your relationship is your courage and whether or not you're gonna be able to pull through with this Three of Swords. Now, um, how you see the other person as you see them is someone who's discovering something or you've discovered them. And yet they're an entrepreneur, so they're getting what they want, but are not getting what they need. If that makes sense. Now, how they see you is they see you as someone who makes an effort. And is celebrating your prosperity and rewards. Um, the unknown influences on your relationship is whether or not you're going to have security. And you are, because you're fighting for it. Now where you want the relationship to go is you want there to not be temptation, right? You're tempting, maybe. I think you want some passion. <laughs> passion in your relationship. Now who can help your relationship is you. You and them. You're gonna be sharing your thoughts and feelings. And if they don't listen, you're probably going to sever ties. But maybe you're severing ties with the bickering and wanting to work together for something better, right? Now, the challenges in your relationship is that you are awakening, calling judgment, and balancing yourself out with possibly a Sagittarius. Now, um, the outcome of your relationship is that you are going to be starting fresh in the beginning and saying some shit that's going to change, you know? change them bottom of the deck is that you are finding stability but you're stuck in your head about it so you're trying to make a decision it's a difficult decision now the gravestone tarot is this um, is this such now the central question of your life is whether you're gonna find clarity and the answer to that is you are because you're going to be observing everything around you. The unforeseen forces acting on that question is there's going to be disappointment. And you're going to be grieving. How other people affect you is they affect your skills and whether you're going to move forward. And it could be that you're dealing with someone who's very adventurous. Now, the circumstances affecting your life is you're the empress. You are not just the empress, you're the emperor. So you're able to balance everything out. All right. Who or what is available to you is you. You're, you're in preparation. Okay. You're preparing while being in hermit mode. Now the outcome of this question is that you're going to be in a lot of anxiety you are, especially in regards to uh, this Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Okay, because they're, they're the player card in my deck. Now bottom of the deck is this. You're going to have the energy to be rescued, to have hope. To carry on you're not gonna let anything hold you back which is freaking awesome all right now let's discuss the eyeball tarot now um last month you were adapting right you were adapting to what people were saying to you okay this month you're in libra energy so you're finding balance Finding balance and learning to forgive and use your heart in the decision-making process. 
the first week is going to be a fucking challenge. It always is, right? Especially regarding this Cancer Scorpio Pisces party girl. It doesn't have to be that sign, but that's just what it is. Somebody's devoted and yet a party girl. Second week is that you're having hope to keep carrying on. But you are in mini hermit mode, so you're kind of looking at your wounds, and you're trying to recoup, and you're getting tired of the negative dances. Now, the third week is that you're going to be working hard and avoiding temptation. So something's going to be tempting you, like, and and it's it's, it's probably like, oh, Renee. Um, <laughs> I said it like that. I'm sorry. It was kind of creepy. Um, <laughs> but it's going to be like, hey, you know, it'd be easier to do it this way. And you'd be like, I don't know. I wouldn't get the same feeling doing it that way as I do if I did it the honest way. Right? Now, the fourth week is that you're going to be rejecting all those that are trying to thieve from you, sabotage from you, and deceive you in one way or another. You're rejecting all that energy, the toxic energy, all the karmic energy. Now, the possibilities for next month is that you're not only stepping into your tradition, right? But you are saying some shit that's profound, okay? You're going to lay down the law because you are an empress and you're building your empire from the ground up. bottom of the deck is that you are transitioning and coming at things from a new approach, which is awesome. Way awesome. Alright, now this is the severed head spread. So, my beautiful, beautiful Renee. Beautiful Miss Renee. The primary issue in your life is the charm card. I'm sorry, you can't see it. Okay. And you're trying to do it while not only keeping with your family, but, you know, everything's going right in, the, in these two cards. You're charming, right? Now, in the distant past, you were collaborating with someone to end one situation. Um, Edmund situation so you can travel. So you're collaborating to travel. In the recent past, you were going within, introspecting, right? And being very patient with what you were creating. In the current, like present energy, you are completing something and it's going to be leading to you getting recognition and hard work for your skills. Now in the, in the, um, future, the recent future that's coming up, you're going to have a revelation in regards to someone or something, so you're going to be creating something, right, it's going to come from like, I don't know where, it's going to be like a light bulb moment, which is going to be awesome. Now, um, now the, the factors that will, um, that will affect the outcome of the issue is that you're going to be waiting you're going to be waiting to um, be able to come together with someone. Now, the official outcome is that you're going to be happy. You are. And the bottom of the deck is you're accomplishing. You're accomplishing so much and ending one situation so you can begin something new. So that is way awesome. I hope that, that this helps. So um, this is like, so you got your past energy. You remember the... the three piles, three, four piles, where you go past, present, and possible future. Well, all these spreads are timeless, so I don't know if they're going to happen or if they have already happened. Does that make sense? You're going to be the best judge of that because you'll know when it's coming and how you're, you're going to react. Because you got to think about what you're going to say and how you're going to say it and to whoever you're going to say whatever you're saying to them, right? Does that make sense? But you are definitely not alone and you're going through some stuff. So if you ever need me, I'm always here. Thank you so much for not only subscribing and being a part of our Zodiac family, but, you know, being so patient with me. And you are loved, all right? I love you. Thank you so much for listening to this because I know that if I tried to watch...
this video, I'd probably go cross-eyed because the, everything keeps moving. Okay, I love you. Bye, my beautiful friend.